Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take a small break. We have a trig graphing mini lesson. Now, there's two types of problems we're going to deal with here. One is where we have an equation where I have something involving a trig function equals something else. And then I have something involving trig functions in an inequality, and we need to deal with that. So, moving on from there, what we have is I could solve this using algebra, but it's going to be exceedingly difficult because I have trig functions and non-trig functions. We already know how to graph sine x, and this is sine x with a vertical shift of 2. So we're going to move the center up 1, 2. There's my center line. It's going to go up to 3, down to 1. So top, middle, bottom, middle. So it's going to look something like this. Actually, it goes back to the middle there. And it's going to go back the other way as well. Now, we, on the other side, we have x squared. Well, x squared is a parabola. The problem is exactly where they cross becomes somewhat problematic. So I need to figure out where they cross, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, the easiest thing we can do here is take this and put it in y1. Take this, put it in y2. Graph them both and then use second, calc, and we want the intersect. We want the intersect function. Now, that will allow us to choose one equation, the other equation, and then guess where we think the intersection is, and it will give us two values. This one turns out to be at about negative 1.06, comma 1.25-ish, somewhere in that ballpark. And then the other one will be likewise. You could find it as well. So all it is is setting one side equal to one equation, one equal to the other, graph them and find the intersect. Now, if I have something down here where I have inequalities, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to say the first equation, less than, because I have less than sign y1, and then I'm going to say y2 less than 2 cosine x. Now, in this case, uh, the way I put them into calculator, I've made this y3 and this y4, but it doesn't frankly matter. When you graph them up, you get a graph that looks like this. And you can change it to the greater than or less than functions. So, in this case, you would say, well, where is the sine 3x greater than the 2 cosine x? Well, that's going to be where the sine 3x is higher than the cosine 2x. So what I'm really looking for is I'm looking for that point of intersection here, and I'm looking for this point of intersection here, because between those two points, pink is higher, and uh, between in the other places, the other is higher. So if I want to find the places they intersect, a second calc, and we simply go down to intersect, and we have function 1, function 2, and just like in the first one, we can come over here and find somewhere near where they intersect, and hit enter. And it will find that point of intersection for us, and so once you know the two points of intersection, you can say it's either between the two, or it's less than this one, greater than this one. So, it allows you to break up one statement into two statements, graph them separately, and then go from there. All right, so, graphing mini lesson. Uh, go ahead and do page 334 numbers. Two through six, all. And I need a sketch and a range. A sketch and a range of x values. So number less than x less than number. Okay? Something in that ballpark. So make sure that you do those as well.